So at this point, we have a good portion of our song created. We have our keyboard part that we created in Easy Keys. We have our drum part that we created in Easy Drummer 2. And then we have our bass part using the stock sounds of Studio One and using some of the MIDI from our Easy Keys track. So at this point, what I'd like to do is supplement the keyboard part by adding additional instances of Easy Keys. So I'm going to do that by selecting the main Easy Keys track, this MK1 chorus that we've labeled. I'm going to right click in Studio One and we'll choose Duplicate Track Complete. So this will do a complete duplication of that track, meaning it will add a new instance of Easy Keys on a new track and also it will keep the same MIDI as well. Now the time signature goes back to 4-4 in this new instance, so make sure I'll change that to 6-8 so the measures line up. But we have the exact same track, exact same MIDI, and the exact same Easy Keys preset. So what I'm actually going to do is change that preset so we have the same keyboard part with a different sound from this library. And I'm going to choose this soft ballad preset. We could make some adjustments to the parameters here in the bottom left, but I'm going to leave it as is just to keep things moving and I actually like the sound of this preset in its default state. So we get some nice delay there. I'll go ahead and label this new track, MK1 Soft Ballad. And then I'm going to duplicate this track again. I could actually duplicate either one because the MIDI is the same. So we'll do another duplication. So we create a third instance of Easy Keys. Let me solo that. And here, I'm actually going to change the library to this Electric 200A. It's actually the same package of this Electric MK1, which is great. So you get a couple different classic electric keyboard sounds. So I'll choose Electric 200A. I'm actually going to leave it in its default state. So all I did was load the Electric 200A library. We're going to use the default preset. Let's take a listen. Now there's a lot of tremolo there, so I'm actually going to bring that back just a bit. And I'm going to bring the distortion, this line app, setting down just a bit as well. I'll leave everything else in the default state. Now let's take a listen once again. If we put all of those together, our keyboard part now sounds like this. However, I really like our original keyboard part, the original sound, which was the Electric MK1 chorus. So I want that to be primarily what we hear. Actually, let me go ahead and label this third instance, Electric 200A. And what I'm going to do is actually bring down the second instance, so the soft ballad and the 200A instance of Easy Keys. We'll bring that down in the mix so that the MK1 chorus, our main keyboard part, is the main sound that you hear. And these other two instances just supplement that sound, just add to it. But we don't want it too loud. We just want to enhance the sound of our original keyboard part. So I basically brought down the soft ballad quite a bit in the mixer. And Brought down the Electric 200A down a bit as well, not quite as much. So let's listen to the mix of our three Easy Keys tracks now. And to me, I really like how that sounds. Now I'll A, B it for you. So I'll take out the additional instances of Easy Keys that we added. So you can hear our original part and then you can hear it again with the addition of these new sounds.
So you don't hear a drastic difference there, but what I'm actually going to do now is add Easy Mix to these two new instances of Easy Keys. So we can alter the sounds of those keyboards even more, and that will actually raise the volume a bit as well, so they'll become a little more apparent in the mix. So we'll grab an instance of Easy Mix 2, and for the soft ballad preset, I'm gonna go down to this Neil Dorfman Easy Mix 2 library. I really like his stuff, I really like his presets, and really everything he does sounds great. So I use a lot of his presets quite a bit in my productions. There's a moody piano right here that we're gonna use, and we're basically going to keep this in its default state. So let's take a listen to what that does to our MK1 soft ballad. And I'll actually bring that up in volume just so we can hear it. So just thickens it up a little bit. Then we're going to add an instance of Easy Mix 2 onto the Electric 200A track. And for this one, I'm going to go back to the Easy Mix 1 library for Easy Mix. We'll go down to Organ with Reverb. And again, I'm going to leave this at the default settings here. A lot of these presets, they sound great as is. Of course, you can go in and tweak some of the settings, but for this one, I'm going to leave it at the default state. So let's take a listen to what that does to our Electro 200A keyboard sound. So it gives it a really ambient sound, almost really more of an organ-like sound. It's a preset made for organ, but I'm using it on this Electric 200A Easy Keys library. Again, no rules here. Use what sounds good, use whatever you want. So let me bring that back down in the mix, and let's listen to all three keyboard parts with those changes that we made with Easy Mix. It's not too much, but it definitely makes a difference in the sound of the keyboard part.